Hi, my name is Kevin Cubitt. I'm with the Mechatronics program, and today we're going to be going over the Amrath Assist Drive. This is the 3G3JX inverter. This is a variable frequency drive, and today I want to talk about the overload limit functions on this guy. So basically what the overload limit functions uh, provide for is uh, so that we can set it so that once it hits a certain current, it's going to scale back the speed of the motor to, mat to stay at that current so that we don't uh, burn up motors and, and stuff like that. So there's a couple of different parameters you can set involved with that. The first one is uh, B21. The parameter B21 is so that you can set um, whether or not you want to use the overload limit, uh, and that would be 0, 0 for that parameter. You can also set uh, if you want to use it for constant speed, which would be 0, 2. And that would be, of course, once your motor reaches the running volt, the uh, running speed is when it's going to start looking for overload uh, limit conditions. Uh, the other parameter is 0, 1, and that also checks for overload limit conditions during acceleration uh, of the motor. So, you know, we're going to stick with uh, 0, 2, which is what I have it set for, so that we can avoid it uh, limiting the motor speed during inrush current conditions. So, I already have the uh, B21 set to 0, 2, so we're good there. Now, if you'll remember, Omron Sys Drive, um, if you would like to quickly change through the parameters, you hit both greens at the same time, and you see we have blinking on the uh, first indicator there. So, the next parameter I wanted to talk about, though, was the B22. So, we're going to go ahead and set this to B22. So, we got B, enter, 0, and 22. Now, B22 is actually the limit where it's going to start scaling the motor to, to meet, to match this limit. So right now I have the motor actually set up for a load here. You see I got a bunch of wiring going on. And so we have uh, our AC motor hooked up to a DC motor, which is hooked up to a 10 ohm load that I can turn on and off here with the cam switch. So I already have checked this uh, load and when it's under this 10 ohm load on the DC motor, it brings my amperage for the running speed at maximum hertz uh, to about 2.3. So I have my overload limit here set to 2.1. What that means is once I turn that load on, it's going to go to 2.3. It's going to say, okay, I'm overloaded. And it's going to scale back the motor speed to stay at what my limit is set at. Right now you see it's set at 2.1. So that's underneath what my amperage is going to be running, so we're going to go ahead and trip that overload. The other parameters you want to worry about are going to be B23, which is the overload limit parameter. That's a time measurement there, so you're going to set that, um, let's say if I set it at five seconds, it's kind of like soft stopping almost, and so it's set at five seconds. Once it hits that 2.3, it's going to overload it, and it's going to scale back the motor speed can match 2.1, or try and match 2.1, over the course of 5 seconds. You can set that parameter from anywhere from 0.1 seconds to 3,000. You want to be careful though, because if you have, for example, an overload of 4 amps, and your, your overload parameter is set to 2.1, and you set your time parameter to 0.1 seconds, you'll probably get an overcurrent, because it's going to try and slow the motor down way too fast. So we also have, um, I have hooked up here, a light here, which this is wired to our BFD here, and what that light is going to indicate is when we hit a certain level. Now it's not going to be set through your B22 parameter, it's rather going to be set through your C41 parameter, so I'm going to go ahead and change this, and we're going to check what it's set at. So let's go to C41, and let's check what it's set. It's set at 2.1, which is the same figure as our, uh, as our B22 figure. We can go ahead and lower this, so you can kind of have a warning. It depends on your, on, on your application as to what you want to do, but you can have almost a warning as to uh, when it's getting towards an overload or an over limit uh, condition. So let's go ahead and set it at two. Now, as you see, I already have the pilot light hooked up. Now, another important parameter for you to, to know is that when it's hooked up uh, via these terminals that I have, which is the P24, the P1, and then the FC to the PC terminals, you need to set your C21 function to 0, 03. And what that does is it sends a signal to the pilot light, turns on power to the pilot light when it reaches the C41 parameter, so I have it set at 2, so technically the way it's set up, 
Once I hit two amps on this motor and I'm drawing two amps, it will turn on that pilot light. So now that we've gone through all that, let's look at a real world application. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to D002, which if you'll remember, that will display amps on our readout here. So let's go through our quick change and let's go to D002. So G002 is the amp readout. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And right now, I have my cam switch set to stop, so there's no load on the DC motor. So it's going to spin up to, about to 60 hertz, which is the maximum our VFD can output. And you can see here that our draw is 0.9 amps. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my cam switch, which is going to put this resistance on this DC motor, and then we're going to watch this amperage climb. Okay. And you see, right now it's reading 2.2. Like I said, my V22 setting is set to 2.1. If it wasn't, one minute on the video.